Hello again, friends! Welcome back to Nexi's shitty fucking Dark Souls 3 playthrough. On um, this episode, we're continuing to fucking progress through the Growth Swamp. Now, last time we forgot to fucking get the daggers at any point, and we spent forever fucking walking through the swamp like slow boys, but this time, we've learned from our mistakes. Actually, this is still the light part of the swamp, we don't have to do it yet, whatever. Who cares? The fucking principle is still there. Oh nice, an Estus Flask shard, my fave. Great. Um, so when we get to the fucking deep part of the swamp, we will have our daggers at the ready to fucking fly through the area at great speed. Have we already been up through this path? I guess not. Nice. Another little shrine, another little bit of fire. As long as we deal with these demon, gross demon boys. Oh god. Did I ever finish my point about how I was talking about these guys' heads? You know, like in the heads of the fucking Dark Souls 1 boys? How they sort of look quite the same and they were affected by the dark. I just want to have you keep in mind that um, that the dark, the dark is, is possibly what is causing these gross demon boys to look like they are. You know, which is an indication, I guess. There's some dark, spooky, abyss, dark souls, dark shit going on in this area. Because, you know, they're like, if, if you go to the fucking filing shrine and you take a look at um, the throne where we're going to put um, these fucking... Undead Legions, Undead Legions, uh, fucking heads. It'll say that they are the Abyss Watchers, the Undead Legion of Farron. So the Abyss, right, that's the dark, the dark, that's the dark shit, that's what happens when there's a lot of dark, you know, you get the Abyss and that's where all the dark lives and that's where all the dark boys come from, you know? Um, so the Abyss Watchers, watching over the Abyss, I guess, and we see, you know, there was the Dark Wraith in last episode, and there's all these guys who I'm, you know, theorizing might have something to do with the dark. I wonder if there's some spooky shit going on in this area. I wonder if possibly the fucking the fucking Abyss Watchers have failed. They lost sight of the Abyss. They weren't watching it. And they, they fucking took their eyes off it for one second. And everything went to shit. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's not what happened. Who can say? Not me. Not you. Remember this fucking guy? This fucking guy want to jump on our head? It's not happening, buddy. I'm going to shoot you from afar. The classic Dark Souls cheese tactic. Oh, God. He's quite difficult to hit. Please don't tell me he's going to fucking jump up at me from all the way down there. That would be beyond ludicrous, beyond crazy, beyond insane. Looks like his pathfinding doesn't quite know how to get up to me just yet. So we can abuse that fact. Never mind, he's figured it out. Fucking asshole. Okay, great. Okay, that was a close one. Okay. We living. We surviving. We out here. Hashtag living. Great, good. Um, so there's one more fucking fire we have to put out, and it's over in that direction. So let's head over there, I guess. Um, we've still got the fucking big demon boys that we have yet to kill. You know, we killed one of them, uh, but then we respawned them. But, you know, we still got to... I think it's important to have goals that include killing all the demons. Do you know what I mean? You feel You feel me? You feel what I'm... Are you picking up what I'm putting down? No? Good. Me neither. Um, there's two demons over here. They're, like, crowded around, having, having a, uh, a fucking demon meeting. What sort of things do you reckon they discuss in their demon meetings? There's fucking three of them. You can't be serious. God, they're all around that item. Do you reckon I can, like, fucking run in, grab the item, and leave? I think that's going to be our strat. That's going to be what we're going to attempt. Okay. Item, item. Nice. Useless. Garbage. <laughs> 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 fucking hell. That was not worth it. That was very poor value for money. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we learned our lesson. God. Punished for picking up an item. That's extremely unfair. Oh, man, the game fucking knows my vices. It knows it knows how to get me. It knows how to fucking bait me into fucking dying. Just put an item in like an area of certain death and I'm 100% guaranteed to get it and die. It's just, it's the way my brain works. It's the way the world works and there's nothing I can do about it. So, you know, you just got to deal with it, I guess. You just got to take these things as they come. What can you do? We'll have to just fight our way back fight our way back through the swamp, take on these demons, get our souls back. I don't really know how I'm going to get my souls back, to be honest, because, like, I died pretty quickly. Like, as, pretty much as soon as I got in there, I died. Maybe because I died so quickly, my soul, my souls aren't going to be, like, right underneath them. Maybe they'll be, like, a few meters away, and I'll just be able to, like, run past and grab them and then leave before they notice me. I guess that's what we're going to have to hope for, because if they are, like, standing right on top of my fucking souls, there's no chance in hell I'm getting them back. You can just forget about it right now. Oh, I have to kill this fucking guy once again to get to my souls. 
It's such a fucking risk every single time. I mean, like, I've, I've been insinuating that if he lands on my head with his jump attacks, it's going to be bad news for me, but I haven't really sort of demonstrated it yet. I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer to just sort of explain that it's bad shit and you don't have to go through it. Um, but it may be that this is the end of my, like, 8,000 souls or whatever the fuck I had on me. It might be that we're about to have a massive financial loss that it's going to be impossible to be recouped. It might be that I cannot fucking hit this guy and it's really pissing me off. God damn it. We could hit him with a dropping attack, maybe. No, we can't. No, we can't. It's such a risk. It's like a slightly glitchy area. Because if he like hits me with his grab, that's pretty much me dead. Like 100% guaranteed. Whatever. Okay, he's going to do his running attack. No. Just a regular slash. Big mistake, buddy. No, uh, you've got fucking one hit attacks. If he, if, if he fucking lands on my head, I'm just like guaranteed to die. But instead, he tries to like slash me. What a goober. What a goon. What a fun, kooky character. What a, what a horrific misplay by that gentleman right there. What are these gross things hanging from the trees? Ugh, I don't know. Everything about this swamp fucking sucks. Everything's gross. Everything's disgusting. Everything's terrible. Okay. So my souls aren't like quite underneath the three of them. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and like run past and grab them real quick. <laughs> Jesus. It's just instant. It's just... <laughs> fucking hell. Okay. Take three, I guess. God, it just takes so long to get there. Get all the way around. Oh, man. If I still had, like, my rings of sacrifice, I guess I could, like, use one of them up. So it wouldn't be such a hassle. But I guess, on the other hand, it's only, like, 8,000 souls. It's starting to get to be the. It's starting to get to the point where it's not that big of a deal, you know. Eight thousand souls is just a few minutes of grinding. Whereas at the start of the game, you know, it's like fucking everything I've ever had and owned and dreamed of. You know, I guess that's a sign that we're becoming stronger gamers, both in game and out of game. You know, we're progressing as both game players, as a game character, and as a human being. I feel like that's the most important part of any video game is to sort of, as you're experiencing it and going through it and playing it, you're becoming a better person and a more well-rounded and uh, fleshed out individual and if you're not succeeding in those goals you really got to ask yourself what the point even is you know no okay I'm just talking shit good great as always the classic Nexi Nexiism of fucking just talking shit and not even listening to himself talk what the fuck am I even talking about I don't know look the point is I've gone through this fucking path like three times now I've killed that fucking guy like way too many times and I'm bored of it and I'm sure you're bored of it as well I, I can't imagine that it's too interesting to watch a video of some fucking guy doing the same thing like four times and like nothing changing aside from the stupid inane bullshit that he's talking about. Um, and I guess the location of my souls as well. Yeah, look, they're fucking miles away from these goat demons now. This is an easy grab, an easy escape. Yeah, perfect. Uh, <laughs> you know, downside, I am being chased by three horrific demons. They can fit through here. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, this is quite an issue. Are they going to follow me up here? Uh, dear. <laughs> uh, dearie me. Deary, deary me. Well. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess there's only one way to go. And that is forward. We found the last fire. Let's let's put this one out. And hopefully abuse the iframes. <laughs> I mean, the only problem with this is once this cutscene is over, I'm going to fucking die. These three guys are going to be right on top of me. And there's no chance I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> fucking hell. God damn it. This fucking game... Well, that's three lights. The door's gonna open. Great. We can get out of the swamp, but, you know, as with the cathedral, there's a bunch of shit that we have to get. There's a bunch of items that we have to collect through this gross area. So we're not ready to progress through just quite yet. Um, so maybe it's not so bad that uh, I'm about to be horrifically murdered by three huge goat demons. Because um, it'll give me an excuse to stick around. Kind of interesting scenery here. You know, a lot of swords sticking into the ground. Quite interesting stuff. Um... Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I don't know how I did it, but I appear to have survived. Um, okay, I guess they can't follow me through here. Great. Okay. <sighs> Just dodge past these guys. Hit the bonfire real quick. Oh, perfect. Reset all these enemies. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did I get out of this? Jesus. I really am the best guy ever. Holy shit. 
That's incredible. I can't believe I survived that. <sighs> Amazing. Incredible. Okay, good. Great. Um, well, let's see. What can we see from here? We can see that's the path down to the fucking... that we just opened up. But we've still got a lot of swamp to explore. So let's continue on. Let's continue along. There's a crab over there. Crab in deep water. I'm not too sure how, how I feel about that. I'm not too pleased about it, if I'm being brutally honest with you. You know, I don't really want to deal with a crab at the best of time, let alone when he's fucking in deep water and it's very difficult to fucking roll past him. But you know, what can you do? This entire room full of slugs. Let's just deal with this real quick. It's a bit of mass slug murder. Nice. Oh, Jesus. I thought I had my shield up, but I actually had my pyromancy up. What a classic blunder. What a classic mistake maneuver. But it's fine. Undead Bone Shard, nice. Upgrades. Oh, there's still a living slug. Well, let's deal with that. Perfect. Amazing. Incredible. Ah, <sighs> great. So there's this quite large structure here. There's some demons over in that direction. Let's tackle this structure first. Grab these items over in this direction. Nice, nice, nice. Oh god, fucking gross slimers. Gross boys everywhere. I hate it. It sucks. Um... Let's uh, let's head over. Let's head over here. Let's head head over to this structure. What do we see? Wow, a ladder! Isn't that incredible? I wonder what could be at the top of this of this interesting ladder. I wonder what we could find if we ascended to the very height of human existence and ladder climbing. There's only one way to find out. This looks like a long one, so get ready. Get strapped in for the long haul. This long, exciting ladder climbing experience. You can watch the gentle sway of my character's butt going from right to left and left to right as he ascends up this well crafted ladder. And we've arrived at the top. Incredible. Um, let's take a quick look around. Let's see what we can see. Nice, we've got a perfect view of the swamp. We can see a lot of trees, and that's about it. Great, good. Oh, hang on, there's stairs up here. I missed this. I was not paying attention. Thought that the path just ended, but no, there are stairs up here. Illusory wall ahead. Wow, isn't that interesting? But there's also a lizard. We've got to deal with the liz real quick. Crystal liz. Come on, one more hit on the liz. One other hit, another hit on the liz. There we go. Great. Nice twinkler. Great, so we've unlocked this illusory wall. Great. Some ashes. Dream chases ashes. Well, isn't that isn't that interesting? Let's see. So we're under the bridge right now. Ah, isn't that interesting? So the bridge that fucking apparently connected the uh, the undead settlement to uh, to Lothric Castle once, the high wall. We are directly below it, and looks like this structure is part of it. So isn't that interesting? We are now part of the bridge once again. In the bridge, part of the bridge. Amazing. Incredible. Wow. Well, let's head inside. Let's see what we can see inside this building, this part of the bridge. What is going on in here? There's a bonfire. Wow. And also, a very large wolf. Listen, buddy, I've had some bad experiences with wolves before. This old wolf of Farron bonfire? I wonder if this is the old wolf of Farron. Well, it must be. Listen, mate, a wolf fucking made me fail the DLC. Are you going to be the wolf that turns me around? That fucking makes me appreciate wolves? Let's find out. He gave us... A fucking an emote and the option to join a covenant. Well, great. Amazing. Incredible. What does this covenant have to say about itself? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The Watchdogs of Farron. The Watchdogs ensure that the warriors sleep in serenity by taking the form of loyal spirits and hunting down those that would trespass the woods of Farron. So basically, this is the covenant for people who want to just kill people in the swamp. They just want to group up on people in the swamp, gang up on them, and fucking kill their ass. Great. Amazing. So besides the wolf, there's also this elevator heading up. So I guess this heads up to the top of the bridge, where the fucking dragon is. Remember this shit? Where we met y'all across from there? That fucking bridge, we can go up to the top of it. Exciting. Incredible. But unfortunately, the episode is going over time. So I'll have to leave that until the next one. And I'll see you then, friends. See you then.